to work. I don't want to go to Fort Joy with the smelly lizards. Get her, Dallas. Get that sorcerer. Behind the containers, the fish in one of the barrels shifts slightly. Please, you have to help me. The Magisters have gone mad. They're trying to kill me. Or worse, drag me off to Fort Joy. Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want them to take me. I have no idea. I only arrived in town a few days ago. I sold a few items to Grandmaster Kem in Ox and stopped off here on my way to Sysil. I was just sitting in the tavern, minding my own business, and the Magister started screaming at me. I ran and, well... You hear a quiet sob from the fish. Why is this happening? I didn't do anything. There's a moment of silence from within the barrel. Some of the fish seem to shift uncomfortably. I, I may have been studying some new scrolls I bought. They might have been, well, they called for sauce. But that doesn't mean I had anything to do with the disappearances. I'm a tinkerer. I'll fix things for a living. I would never hurt anyone. I don't know. It could be anyone in the tavern. None of them have any love for the Magisters. Please, all I know is it wasn't me. What? What? I don't know. I don't have much gold. I've spent years collecting rare items from across Rivalon. Please, what I have is more valuable than any coin purse. It can be yours. Just get me out of here. Teach you? I'm no tutor, but... You shift your weight slightly away from the barrel and hear a panicked squawk from within. No, don't leave. I have friends. I know people. They can teach you. Just please, don't leave me here. I just need to get out of Driftwood. I can't risk being seen. But if you can get out of town, I can escape to Ox. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't let them see me. Don't let them find me. Thank you. Oh, Lucian, seven times divine, thank you. I'll follow your lead. But please, be careful. If the Magisters see me, I'm done for. At last, I can breathe again. At last! I was sure I'd die in that wretched place. You have my thanks. If not for you, I probably would have been found, gutted and salted. I can't just saunter away. Who knows what might be lurking in a place like this? But once I'm sure the way's clear, I'm running to Ox like a cat with its tail on fire. I'm done with this stinking town.
I've been asking myself the same thing. I was just enjoying some stew in the tavern, reading over my latest acquisitions, and then I was surrounded by magisters. He hands you a damp scroll. In between the fish guts, it seems to give details of how to cast a powerful source spell. Here, take it. That's the scroll that caused all this. I barely got out of there with my life. In the kitchens of the tavern, of all places. That cook had it. Offered it for a great price, too. I thought she was an idiot selling it so cheap. Then again, I'm the dolt who ended up in a barrel. But if she has magister artifacts, she must be the one they're looking for. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm not much of a sorcerer, but I have my connections. Hanag's a pretty powerful source master. Incredible control of portals. I've never seen anyone bend space like she can. Last I heard, she was holed up in a house out in Paradise Downs, the farms to the north. There's more than a few magisters around those parts, though. She might still be there. Might not. But I pity any red cloak that gets on her bad side. He pauses for a long moment, his eyes lingering on your weapon. I mean, OK. Look, if you want something else, go to Blood Moon Island. I'm not giving you a name. I'm not giving you anything. Whoever you find there, whatever you find, it's not on me. But if you really want a sorcerer, go to Blood Moon Island. And that's all I have to say about it. I swear, once I get to Ox, I'm going to have the bath of my life. An elf in tattered red robes shifts through pages of handwritten notes spread across the table. So many suspects, so many potential culprits. I need to narrow down the list. Think, you damn elf, think. A floorboard creaks beneath your foot. The elf leaps around abruptly. What? What? Why do you sneak up on me? Don't you know how dangerous that is, the way things are? Haven't you heard? My own Magister comrades are vanishing from right here in Driftwood. Whoever's behind it must be stopped. If you hear anything, come to me. I was removed from their ranks due to my elven blood. I'll continue to serve, though. I won't stand to see my comrades taken by some vile traitor. The Magisters are all I know, all I want. I turned my back on everything else when I joined them. My name, my blood, my history. If I'm not one of them, I'm nothing. I have to help them. Three Magisters missing so far, and the rest are hunting for some sorcerer called Igba, a bloody tinkerer. He can't be responsible. I'm certain he can't. That's what I'm intent on finding out. This tavern is full of scum and degenerates. The true culprit could easily conceal themselves amongst them. I have to keep investigating, keep the pressure up. The culprit will make a mistake eventually. If you see anything suspicious, let me know. Civic pride, perhaps? The respect of those who safeguard your people? You don't know how lucky you are to be born a human. What? 
I serve with utter loyalty now and forever. Now get away from me and don't come back unless you have information I can use. Come on, damn you. Think. I know what you're getting, but the Majesty's Of silver, gold, and diamonds, now disposed. Gather them up, I say. With friends and lovers. An elf sways on her chair, her eyes focused on the counter in front of her, where she has six glasses in a row. With the nails of two fingers, she's pressing red welts into her forearm. She slides one of the drinks towards you, her head bobbling heavily on her neck as she nods at the sparkling ale. And that. Drink or shut up. Mm. Nothing like a glass of the good stuff to smudge everything into a pretty shape. She slides another glass of ale toward you. Its contents sparkle in the dim bar light. Bottoms up. Can you just not? <clears throat> Cheers to you, me, and... and... Her gaze swivels around the room. Damien's dull knife. This place is horrible. Never mind. Cheers to you, me, and me again. Another. Psh! Give me one good reason. She stares you dead in the eye and quickly tosses back another glass of ale. Mm. Oh, oh, reckon that was. Reckon that was. Reckon a oh, one too many. And shout to all the human... Got a customer, love, Rick. Where is that ship asleep about lurking now? The so what are you going to do now that the White Majesty's done the ship? What's this? I found something. The cook acknowledges you with a small bow, an oddly formal gesture given the surroundings. Please, madam, you should not be back here. It's not safe. Cinnamon, not nutmeg. There's a food shortage in these parts. Fresh meat can be hard to come by. Liberal seasoning helps disguise all sorts of sins. Now, please, I must return to my work. You should speak to Loverick if you want food. Please, I must insist you keep out of my kitchens. It's not safe for you to wander about like this. Sharp knives, boiling liquids, sharp tempers. Don't underestimate the dangers here. Now, please, I must insist. Higbert told you that. He's a fugitive, supposedly a sorcerer too. He'd say anything to save his own hide. I killed no one. The cook doesn't respond. You notice that she has one hand behind her back when she hadn't before. The cook shakes her head with a sigh. You've a very active imagination, stranger. Very active. I'd never harm a person, my sweet. Only dumb animals fit for the cooking pot fall to my knife. The things you're insinuating about me require proof, and it seems as though you have none. So don't you pit your word against mine. You'll only lose. Now get out of my kitchen! This ring bears the Magister's seal, and there's blood on it. 
I have nothing more for you. No food, no words. Get out. The cook shakes her head ruefully. You should have just forgotten about all of this. A lifeless elven child is cradled in your arms. Your vision blurs with tears. You look away. To a raised valley below, tendrils of death fog dissipate, revealing a victorious Divine Order army advancing. Humans, magisters, murderers. Cooking notes. Wait, there's something wrong with this. The Magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. What do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. Well, what are you waiting for? Tell me. What? The bloody cook? It can't be. Well, why did Higba have that contraband then? That he's still guilty of something. I'm not calling off the manhunt until I have that fiend one way or another. As for this cook, do you have any proof? The Magister snatches the ring from your palm and stares at it. This... Uh, 
This is a conduct award. I presented it to Magister Harrick myself. She was the second one to be taken. The cook's been reported dead. I thought she was another victim, but if she had this, she must have been the culprit. There's no other explanation. He shudders in disgust. And to think she was so near to us, to me, all this time. It seems I owe you my thanks and a reward. He holds out a pouch of gold. You try to take it, but he doesn't yet relinquish his grasp. With his free hand, he wags a finger in your face. Keep this ugliness to yourself. I wouldn't want it thought that we magisters can't solve our own problems without throwing gold about. He lets go of the pouch and turns away. To think someone had the nerve to murder magisters. Come on, can't I go play with the others? No can do, chickadee. Bow it! Would you have me die of thirst? Right Fill ahead. my damn cup! But, Ma! Come on.